Yeah, hello everyone. In this video, we will demo how to uh, monitor the resource usage of Windows system without using any SNMP. So basically, the um, tools that I need to monitor the Windows Server resource or computer is only Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana for visualization and for log uh, consumer. And I use the built-in performance monitor for Windows. Uh, called type paper so the idea is quite simple actually I will use the type perf to so produce the some uh, log file and then the log file will be uh, consumed by log says to be and it will parse in certain format and after that will be converted to certain format too so elastics will uh, recognize the certain field to be a uh, dead time field and the another is the float field and then you can visualize them in dashboard using a given so the performance monitor that I use in, the, in this video is actually type perf it built in performance monitor that already exists if you install Windows 10 or Windows Server okay. the idea is quite simple the, the type perf is recognize the counter you want to monitor there are many counters that uh, you can use uh, in this example there is a processor time uh, and then uh, memory available memory committed memory and uh, many others so uh, this is uh, some of the available uh, counter that you can use such as a uh, processor uh, processor time well cut means if you have uh, four cores so it will produce four uh, value for processor time and sorry five value and one two three four and total and there is uh, there are memory and logical list and then process if you want to monitor certain process uh, processor time memory or any IO okay so in this video I will uh, demo how to monitor only two uh, information so two data to capture two data the memory available bytes and memory committed bytes and I will uh, convert it to the flow convert those to flow format so I can sum it in the visualization okay the flow is quite simple I will generate the log file in certain directory okay in this directory with a uh, certain format naming format okay so I will only watch this uh, name format after that I will filter the input using a CSV plugin so the delimited file will be parts as a full time column memory available bytes and committed bytes and then I will convert the value the default value is string for the CSV parser okay so I will format it to the flow for the memory available bytes and committed bytes and then I will change the format from string to the default the call time call time is the when the lock is generated or the performance is logged okay. and then I will output it in, in the uh, console so I have this is okay. okay let's see the first is okay I think I already started okay the first is let me try to uh, make the counter file. Okay, the counter file. Okay. Counter file is consists of the counter that you want to monitor. In my case, is I want to monitor the data available bytes and committed bytes of my memory. Okay, and then after that. I will run the type of uh, comment. Okay, you can see here. This is type of. Okay, open the console and then here to see the. Okay, the counters is all already there. And then type of. Let's see F is the counter file. Okay, and this is my counter file here. And the S E. Okay, the S E is the interface. I will use. Uh, 10 second in the okay so every 10 second it will produce a uh, data for the performance monitor and then i will use an f and then the output is result to csv okay by default the format is csv okay let's see okay sorry uh, i 
forget to enter this. So the expected value of this comment is expected result is uh, it will generate CSV in next 10, 20, and 30 seconds. Okay, you can see here there is a result the CSV. Okay, it won't be watched by log size because the first is the format name format is not uh, match and uh, I still haven't uh, stopped the log size. Okay, let's see whether the data is captured you can see here okay this is the column that uh, generated by the log first is the poll time and then the available bytes and then committed bytes and this is the value you can see here this is the committed bytes and then this is the sorry this is the available bytes uh, my install ram is uh, 19 sorry 16 and the available commit the available is 11 so after that, let's uh, kill the process and then let's stop the log test here. Okay, let's test. result the surface okay and then in this uh log test output you can see that the data is coming to the console this is the host this is the available bytes and this is the member committed bytes and this is the poll time okay let's see let's verify the result okay in the performance you can see here uh, that the memory okay the committed is about or 6 and then in the available is about uh, 10 bit okay you can see here that the what the number is quite right because this is a, the average of 10 seconds and this is the current uh, situation of my memory okay this is the first part for the visualization uh, actually visualizing the resource by using Elasticsearch, Success and Kibana Thank you. 